Hello friends, welcome back. Hearty welcome to you. In this session, let's try to look at the introduction to pair of straight lines and understand the concept. Now, what's a pair of straight lines? When we try to solve problems related to straight lines, we may get solution as two different lines. Let's take a simple example to understand that. Let us say that we want to find out locus of a point equidistant from coordinate axis. Now what's the meaning of this? How the locus of this point will be? Let's understand that. For that we'll just take a rough graph. This is 0, 0. Let us say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Similarly, minus 1, minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 1 2 3 4 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 now what's the meaning of a point equidistant from coordinate axis what are coordinate axis nothing but two straight lines right so x axis is given by y equal to 0 and y axis is given by x equal to 0 we want to have that point equidistant from two lines. We know that the locus of a point which is equidistant from two lines is always angular bisector. That means angular bisector of x-axis and y-axis. So, the solution will be this line. Now, this is the only solution we have. No. We have another line which is exactly at 90 degrees with this particular line. And that is also solution of the point. So the locus of point in this scenario is given by two lines. One line which is x equal to y. You can see that any point on this line will have x coordinate equal to y coordinate. That one. Or we have another line in which x equal to minus y. So the locus of point, suppose I have to write this this lo e point equation of locus, what I will write down. I have now two solutions. One is x minus y equal to 0. Another is x plus y equal to 0. Now, I can say that equation of locus is given by x minus y equal to 0 or x plus y equal to 0. Or another thing what I can simply is, I can multiply them. Now just remember that when you want to multiply them and put them into this format which is called as combined equation of straight lines you have to make sure that always your RHS is 0 then only we can combine them and we can write down take one point on the first line x equal to y let us say the point is something like 2 comma 2 let us take another point on the other line which is nothing but 3 comma minus 3 comma 3. Now suppose I substitute 2 comma 2 in this, the equation is satisfied. Similarly, if I substitute, I substitute 2 comma 2, it will become 2 minus 2, 0 into something is 0. If I substitute minus 3 comma 3, then 3 minus 3 is 0. Then we have, so what we see from here is this combined equation satisfies all the points on the locus. So either you take the points from the first line equation of the locus or this equation of locus which is nothing but x plus y equal to 0. Now only the thing we have to understand is x equal to minus y we have to write x plus y equal to 0 and x equal to y we have to write x minus y equal to 0 r h s should be 0 then only we can go ahead and combine them and multiply them this is called as combined equation of straight lines combined equation of straight lines 
are pair of straight lines because two straight lines together we are representing in one equation which is nothing but x square minus y square equal to 0. So x square minus y square equal to 0 represents a pair of straight lines x minus 1 y into x plus y equal to 0 which is nothing but the equation of locus of a point equidistant from coordinate axis. So that's about the simple concept of pair of straight lines. In the next session we will take a second degree homogeneous equation and see what condition needs to be satisfied so that it can be a pair of straight lines whether they are equal or where they are real and unequal. That we will look into in the next session.